Today we'll see one of the real time use case that is password management using PLS scheme. In this video, we'll cover three requirements that is password generation, password validation, and list of expired password. For these three requirements, I will create three processes. In order to solve this requirement, you should have better understanding of the following concepts like DDL, DDL like data definition language, create statement to create any table, DML statements like insert, update, TCL, transaction control language that is commit or rollback, order by class used for sorting purpose, next data types like number, where care, date, and processor. You should know what is processor, how to write a processor, and how to execute a processor. These are the in and out parameters for a processor. An anonymous block is used to execute a processor. System of cursor, uh, this is used to store the query result set. And for loop cursor, to iterate the uh, number of uh, results. 2LC feature, we'll, in this requirement, we'll see one of the 2LC feature that is top end feature, fetch. And also exception, how to handle exception. And DBMS random is the Oracle provide package that is used to generate uh, special characters or numbers and DPMS output is nothing but to see the result on the console. Let us discuss some of the concepts like DPMS random. This is the Oracle predefined package. By using the package, we can able to generate. Uh, it has so many functions. One of the function is the string function. So by using P, what is the instance? Like it will create, it will generate six length character. That is a combination of alphabet, number and special characters. So if you have time, please go to the DBMS random package. So I have created one video like OTP generation by using DBMS random package only I have generated the OTP. So what is processor? Like this is a syntax for the processor. Create or replace processor, processor name as begin DBMS output dot put line. Hello world, this is a sim sample processors. So if you want to execute the processor by using anonymous block, begin processor name that is the sample processor and end so output will be hello world next one the system cursor this is nothing but a weak ref cursor so it is a pointer to query result the syntax would be variable name and the system cursor the first requirement is the password generation we all know that when you join any company we will get one user id and one default password same concept i am using here Input is the username, output is the user ID and password. So in a processor, for the processor, I'm taking input as the username and the outputs are user ID and password. And some conditions I'm adding here. The length of the password should be 10 characters. And also the first two characters of the password should be uppercase of the username. And the remaining eighth character should be alphabet. It's a combination of alphabet, numbers, and special characters. So by using DBMS random, we can able to generate this password. So for this requirement, I need to create one table that is DDL. Create table, table name. Password details is a table name. So in this table, I have columns like ID, that is the number, username, that is the vacuum, password, created by, created date, like who is created and when, when it got created, and also modified by unmodified date. So these are the columns like ID, username, password, created by, created date, modified by, and modified date. Like when it got created and when it got modified. So I will start writing the processor. Create or replace processor, processor name. So your password generation is the processor name. So by using the, we need to write a, we need to select the name so that by using that name, we can identify what is the functionality of it. So by using that name is like password generation. We can identify that is a, it is a generation of the password. So it has one input parameter that is P username and two out parameters that is the user ID and the password. Based on the username, we need to generate user ID and the password. So this query is you will get user ID. So what I'm doing, I'm taking the maximum of ID and adding plus one so that the user ID will get automatically plus one value. So what I'm doing, 
I am extracting first two characters of the username by using sub HTM, and also I am doing uppercase so that whatever the username given, it will it will extract the two characters and it convert into convert into uppercase. And also by using pipe symbol, I am combining these two strings that is the upper uh, two extracted characters as well as the random string. I am storing these values into the p password. This is the out parameter. Hope this is clear by using Max of max of ID plus one, we are getting the user ID, and by using sub here and DBMS random dot string, we are getting the ten character length password, and we are storing into the p user ID and p password. These are the two uh, out parameters, and these three cards should be inserted into a table. That is the password details table. ID, username, password. So these are the columns. So we need to do, insert those records into a table. User ID, username. This is the username provided by the user. P user ID and P password is the out parameters. And created by is the admin. Created ID, we are creating right now only. That's why it's a state. Modified will be admin and modified will be state. Since it is a DML statement, we need to control this transaction by using TCL statement. Commit so that the data will be stored permanently into a database. So this is the end of the procedure. That is password generation. Now we need to execute this procedure. By using anonymous block, we can able to execute this one. Password generation is the procedure name. It has one input parameter, Praveen, and two output parameters, that is ID and password. So if you want to store the result, we need to declare ID, password, so that we can able to use that two variables. So if you want to see the result by using dbms output dot put line, we can able to see. So this is the this is the this is the way to execute any procedure. So if you want to see the result, output will be ID is one and the password is first two characters P Praveen. First two characters will be PR and it, it is converted to uppercase and remaining eight characters get generated by DBMS random package. So if you see the result in this table, select star from password details, entry has been made. ID Praveen password created by created. These are the columns. Next requirement is the password validation. In this requirement, what we need to do is that whenever user want to update his own password, we need to put one condition in such a way that the same password which he wants to update that shouldn't be in the last three password. So while updating the password, we need to check the con condition like that. The password which he wants to update that shouldn't be used in the last three updation. So in order to do this one, we need to create one table that is password log table. In this password log, we'll create all the log history like ID, username, password, and inserted when it got inserted, inserted date. So this password log table is used to log the list of passwords for the particular users. I will start creating one process that is create or replace procedure procedure name. That is the password violation is the procedure name. It has two input parameters that the user ID and the password and the P message out parameter. So user ID is the user which he wants to update and the password is the one which we which he wants to update. So based on the user ID and password, we need to update. And P message is used to capture whether it whether the user uh, whether the password has been updated or not. So password exception, exception. So this is the declaration of any exception. One local variable, cur L current password, which is used to capture the current password. The purpose of this statement is that it is used to capture the current password from the password details based on the user ID. So I'm using for loop cursor. So based on the username, based on the user ID, I'm extracting the list of passwords from the password hist password log. That is the history of password. I'm sorting them by using inserted date descending. So it will display the list of passwords for the particular uh, user ID in a descending manner. By using 12C feature, 12C feature, what is the 12 feature? Fetch first three rows only. It will extract only three records. 
for the particular user id so i am using one condition is that pwd dot password is the p password this is the password which the user wants to update and l current password the password from the current uh, password details table so if any of the condition matches then what we need to do we need to raise an exception that is password exception so i will explain one more time i am taking the for loop cursor in the select statement what i am taking i am extracting the list of passwords for the particular user sorted in a descending manner based on the inserted date and by using to will see feature that is the first first three rows only it will extract three records so i need to check the condition that whether the password is already used or not for this one i am using one if condition that is pwd dot password is the password from the password log and p password is the which is the user wants to update so i am checking whether the record is already there in the password log or whether either it is matching with the current password so if it matches then our requirement is that it should not be the last three passwords so if if no issues are there it will come if it it won't go into the if block if it come out of the end loop and we need to insert them into the password log table before updating the any password before updating the uh, password we need to insert the record into password log table so i'm getting the details from the password details based on the user id so i'm inserting this record all these records into the password log table then what i need to do i need to update the password details table with the password which is sent by the user and also i need to update modified date here if you see in the password log insert date date will be assisted because we are inserting current right now only and also if you see while updating the password details i am setting the password to the current password which is sent by the user and also modified date as the sys state for the particular user id since insert and update are the ml statement we need to put commit so that entire changes will be get updated so is everything is fine what we need to do password updated successfully please log in with the new password so i will explain one more time before updating any details what we need to do we need to insert those record in the password log and we need to update them so once everything is done we need to commit those transaction and we need to send to the user this is the success so we need to handle exception now that is the password exception what we need to do we need to do roll back so that the changes will get uh, rolled back and we need to send to the user like password already used in the last three updation please try a different one so this is the purpose like uh, the same password he wants to update so this is violating so we need to send to the user so that he can use another password so if you want to execute and execute the procedure by using anonymous block it has two input parameters that is the user user id and the password and message is the out parameter so if you want to see the result by using dbms output since privacy tag is not there so it is updating successfully and please log in with the new password if you see the result what will happen select start from password log so data data will be stored in the password log that history password and privacy tag is getting updated this is a password log table and this is the history history table. that is the current details of the password already privacy tag is there so if you want to update what we need it will throw an error so already it got updated with privacy stuff again i am x i am x i am i want to update with privacy stuff for the particular use ready one so what will get password already is in the last updation please try different one so next requirement is the expired password so we need to display the list of expired password based on the number of days so in our company will get like a, uh, for a particular one month or two months we'll get the mails please your password is going to expire please update it so for this requirement i am creating one uh, procedure for it to display the list of expired password based on the number of dates based on the number of dates we need to display a list of expired passwords for this requirement i am creating one procedure that is the password expiration ids so we need to display a list of expiration ids so input is the p days like number of days 
and result we are storing in the sysref cursor. So open p result for this is the sysref cursor variable. So select id username modified date from password details where modified date less than or equal to 68 minus p days. So this is the p days we are passing so that it will display like display the record which is passed by the user and sorting by order by modified date. So based on the dates, I'm taking 68 minus, suppose if I want to put 68 minus 13, we'll get 30 days like that expired password. Hope this is clear. By using system of cursor, we are uh, we need to we need to store all the results in the system of cursor. So like this, try to solve the requirement so that logical thinking will be improved and coding standards and coding skills also getting improved. And one more thing is that I have started PLSQL real time training. It's a four week program. It's a paid one only. So first week will be like SQL, second week will be PLSQL and third and fourth week like interview preparation, everything. So it's a real time program. If anyone you are interested, like please contact us to this number. If you like the content, subscribe and share the channel. Thank you for watching.